Hello everybody. Good morning and good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are. May the good Lord bless you and guide you and protect you all the days of your life. In Jesus name. Welcome to Wisdom TV Nigeria. Today our topic is you are not a victim. We all go through things that are unfair. People that do us wrong. The company let us go. It's easy to live with a victim mentality, thinking we are at a disadvantage. We are short change. We can't do anything great. Look at how we were raised. We can't love again. The last person hurt us. We can't live happy. We've been through too much. As long as you accept that you are a victim, you are going to get stuck. You have to take the hand you have been dealt and make the most of it. Nothing that happened to you has stopped your destiny. That person that did you wrong, they walk away. It may have been painful, but they didn't ruin your life. They don't have that much power. If they could stop God's plan, they would be bigger than God. Don't let one bad break, one injustice, one difficult season cause you to be sore. Have a chip on your shoulder. God said in the book of Isaiah 61 verse 7, He will pay you back double for the unfair things that have happened. If you are going to see the double, you have to know that God is going to make it up to you. It may be unfair, but God is a just God. He saw what happened. He knows who hurt you, what you lost, what you're struggling with. He's not going to just bring you out. He's going to bring you out better. Get rid of that victim mentality. Quit dwelling on what, on who hurt you, what you lost. You are not a victim. God always causes you to triumph. That bad break wasn't fair. You didn't like it. But what you can't see is it set you up for double. That boss that overlook you, you didn't get the credit. You couldn't feel like a victim now. Get ready. God is going to make it up to you. That set you up for promotion. Increase favor that you wouldn't have been if that had not have happened. Here is the key. Nobody can make you be a victim. They can do things that are not fair. You can go through things you don't like, you don't understand, but none of that can force you to have a victim mentality. You have to give permission to become a victim. You have to make that choice. I'm at disadvantage. I'm going to feel sorry for myself. This bad break has stopped my future. I'm asking you to not give permission. Don't allow that victim mentality to enter your thinking. When unfair things happen, thoughts would whisper, just your luck, another bad break. You are scared, you are scared now. Life will always be difficult. That's when you have a dig down deep and say, no, thanks. I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to live bitter, angry, thinking that I've been short chance. I know God is still on the throne. I know he didn't bring me this far to leave me. What was meant for my harm, he is turning to my advantage. Think about Joseph in the scripture. As a teenager, his brothers were jealous of him and threw him into a pit. They ended up selling him as a slave. Joseph was working in Egypt, a foreign country, for a man named Potiphar. His dreams were chattered. He lost his freedom. In one sense, he was a victim of his brother's jealousy, a victim of bad breaks. He had plenty of reasons to have this victim mentality, but Joseph didn't go there. He didn't sit around in self-pity. He didn't give up on life. He kept being his best, treating people right, believing that God was on his throne. Potiphar's wife falsely accused Joseph. She lied about him and he was put in prison for something that he didn't do. Another reason to have a chip on, he, on his shoulder now, he was the victim of his lady that was dishonest. 
But in prison, Joseph kept shining. Before long, he was put in charge of the whole prison. One of his cellmates was Pharaoh's former butler. He had a dream one night that he didn't understand. Joseph interpreted, interpreted the dream, told him that in three days, the butler was going to be released and resisted as the Pharaoh's butler. All Joseph asked for in return was for the butler to put in a good word for him. Just like Joseph said, the butler got out, went back to his position, but he forgot all about Joseph. Another reason Joseph could feel like a victim. 13 years after he was thrown into the pit, Joseph interpreted a dream for, the, for Pharaoh. He was made the prime minister of Egypt, second in command, only to Pharaoh. But during those 13 years, practically every day, Joseph had to fight having a victim mentality. Thoughts would whisper, look at where you are. You have done the right thing. And all these bad breaks have happened. Your own family turned on you. This lady lied about you. It's never going to change. Just accept it. Joseph's attitude was, I refuse to be a victim. I'm not a victim of my brother's jealousy. Not a victim of this lady that lied about me. Not a victim of this butler that forgot some about me. They did me wrong. But God said he will make it up to me. They forgot about me. But God remembers me. They tried to push me down. But I know God will lift me up. What is your own side of this? As I'm talking now, so many people feel that they are victims of circumstances. Do not think like that. What interested is all the bad things they did to you, all the betrayers, the rejection was a part of God's plan. That's what led him to see his dream come to pass. That is Joseph. If Joseph has seen himself as a victim, he would have missed his destiny. If he had been bitter about his brother's angry over but his first wife in self-pity because the butler forgets about him, he wouldn't be talking about Joseph. This didn't happen automatically. He refused to be a victim. Now, I'm telling you, he refused to be a victim to Satan, to the things that people have done to you. Joseph refused to let his mind rehearse all the negative things. He refused to live with the chip on his shoulder. He didn't give permission to a victim mentality. This is the word of God to you. As you are listening to me, refuse it. I wonder where you will be. In five years, if you would just keep refusing to be a victim. I wonder how far God would take you if you would just not live bitter over who hurts you. Amen. Not to try get revenge on the friend that did you wrong. Not lose your passion because you are dealing with an illness. Not give up on a dream because a door closed didn't happen the way you thought every voice will say you are a victim come on accept it it's not fair god's forgotten about you don't give it the time of day god is watching you he sees you shaking off and self-pity doing the right thing when it's hard being good to people that weren't good to you giving it your best when you are not seeing progress your time is coming Suddenly, doors are going to open. Suddenly, the right people will show up. Suddenly, you will see promotion, vindication, dreams coming to pass bigger than you have imagined. And the Lord Almighty is seeing everything around you. God will not allow you to go back to Egypt. God will see you through. God will let people help you. And you will not be a victim in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the good Lord bless you and guide you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.